you by Volkswagen dealers of South Florida. Now, on the 19th. South Florida under a flood watch and wind advisory as nasty weather continues to roll through. And more rain is exactly what we don't need. South Florida already flooded out. We have 19 coverage. A teacher accused of crossing the line with a student. Just one station there when he walked out of jail. A major meeting in South Florida to discuss ways to combat a recent wave of anti-Semitism across the country. She lives in a mobile home park, and one day she walked her dog with her boss's dog. Then she got a letter. That letter says that I have 30 days to get out of here for having a second dog. She can't move her trailer. Can the park evict her from a mobile home and sell it? Help me, Howard has the answer. And a pair of flight attendants getting a special surprise after bad weather forces them to miss a Taylor Swift concert. It's a night team exclusive. Hello and welcome. I'm Craig Stevens. I'm Belkis. Nere, the news at 10 starts now. This is 7 News at 10. This is a 7 News weather alert. Tonight, parts of South Florida have been left swamped as nasty weather moves through. This is what it looked like inside the garage at Sawgrass Mills Mall today. That flooding, the result of relentless rain from Broward to Miami-Dade, communities left completely soaked. Well, some folks wound up like this. A car left stranded in water in Pompano Beach. Navigating through the wet mess up there has proven to be real tricky tonight. And power lines sparking in the wind and rain. The live wires putting on quite the light show. Florida Power and Light called out to get a handle on all this. Hello and welcome, everyone. A nasty night of, out there. All of South Florida is now under a flash flood warning. And we've just learned all Broward County public schools and district offices will be closed on Thursday, including all before and after school activities. Let's get a look at the radar. It shows what it's like out there now at 10 o'clock this evening. All that rain, well, it's not going to be going away anytime soon. The overnight hours especially are going to be stormy. Let's break it down. The latest thinking on all this, Chief Meteorologist Phil Farrow. Now, Phil? And that's where we're going to begin. Take a look at the radar because there's a little spin that has moved up across Florida Bay. The National Hurricane Center is watching that as it moves away from us and into the western Atlantic. But plenty of moisture has come down across South Florida, and it has led to flash flood warnings. And that just means that in the area highlighted, there's already many streets underwater or impassable or cars that have been flooded out. This will remain in place until 1:15. More of the same for Miami-Dade County, from the county line all the way south in through Cutler Bay, and from the beaches uh, west in through the Turnpike. Miami Beach, parts of Alton Road, has seen 6 to 12 inches of standing water. Now here is the live uh, radar, and uh, there's still plenty of heavy rain across the upper keys. Any of those little arrows indicate the potential that a funnel cloud is forming in the upper levels of those thunderstorms. But there's plenty of rain here all across Miami-Dade County. The red shaded areas are where you're gonna find the strongest of the downpours in Broward County. Steady rain uh, from the coast all the way through rural Broward and in through Collier County. Now let's take a look at the rainfall totals for today. Way too much rainfall. These are radar estimates over the last 24 hours. Redland over eight inches of rain. Marathon better than seven. By the way, Marathon setting a new daily record. The old mark was under two inches from 1994. Plantation also about seven and a third inches of rain. And then every place else here between six and five inches of rain. Now there are also some street flood advisories for the potential of more rain coming down and flooding streets. This one in place until 1030 for all of Metropolitan Broward County. And then Miami-Dade from the beaches all the way through Chrome Avenue until 1145 tonight. And then extreme southern Miami-Dade County from Cutler Bay through Homestead, Leisure City, also until 1145. And even rural Miami-Dade looking at a street flood advisory. Uh, just a couple of roads out there. Until 
until 12.15 in the morning. And then the Upper Keys, you too are looking at a street flood warning until 11.30 this evening. So for tomorrow, the rain should come to an end, but it may not do so right away. A flood watch will remain in place for just about everyone here in South Miami-Dade County and Broward County, as well as the Upper Keys. We'll have a lot more on this. When will it finally end? We'll take a look at that a little bit later on. Well, stalled cars and some power problems, part of the story tonight in parts of Miami-Dade. Our night team coverage continues with Sheldon Fox. He's in North Miami with this. Sheldon. Down it comes, Belkies and Craig, and it's not stopping. Get a look at Biscayne Boulevard, not Bay. But you wouldn't really know if you weren't really concentrating here in North Miami. It continues to pound us. It's been doing this all night long and all day long. And this is what it looks like when a November rain hits South Florida. Wet mess. If you had plans to be out in the Miami-Dade night, then maybe you just love the water. There seems an endless supply of it to go along with stalled cars in North Miami, where Biscayne Boulevard did its best Biscayne Bay impression. San Susi felt like San Sloshy and windy, a flood-prone spot on nights like these. This area of Biscayne, just south of 125th Street, delivered. And speaking of delivery, the iconic Steve's Pizza is not an ideal spot for pickup on this Wednesday evening. Elsewhere, this rainy night was also electric near Northwest 101st Street in Miami. It saw sparks fly as power lines went down. Police responded to a palm problem in Bell Harbor as part of a large decorative tree took a tumble near 96th Street. The afternoon wasn't much better. Not during this South Florida washout. You can cue the no wake signs on Biscayne Boulevard. You're looking at it once again here in North Miami, right where it meets San Susi Boulevard. 125th Street is this way, just to my south. And again, this rain not letting up tonight, not here, not anywhere seemingly in South Florida. Stay dry. We're not. We're live in North Miami. Sheldon Fox, 7 News 19. You said it best, Sheldon. We're going to head to Broward County now to see all the nasty weather taking place there. And there is a lot of it. The night team's Maricela Burgos is in Pompano Beach now. Maricela? Craig, and I would say the biggest problem right now is this wind. It is so cold out here. It is pushing all of that rain. We're standing here between two warehouses. You can see that this parking area is flooded. And you know what? We've been driving around through Broward County all day today. It isn't too bad, but that does not mean it will not get worse. Wednesday turned out just like Tuesday, miserably wet. Nonstop rain moved through South Florida. Believe it or not, some people still ran errands. I'm getting wet right now. <laughs> so I'm going to say, rain, rain, go away. The rain did not spare Broward County. Regina Fox is from New Jersey. She's visiting family here, and this was not the welcome she wanted. It's awful because I've only been here for three days and all I've had is rain. Drivers had to deal with a flooded parking garage and parking lot at Sagres Mills. One driver over in Pompano Beach had to ditch his ride because of the rising water. It's been a mess all day long. Thankful it wasn't mine. I had a doctor appointment this morning. Earlier, a tree fell on top of two cars in Lauderdale Lakes. The nasty weather didn't keep kite surfers from the rough waves at Lauderdale by the sea, but it did keep people from enjoying other aspects of the beach. But the weather's bad and people aren't going to come to the beach today. Windy, rainy, and, uh, the and the streets are flooded. Experts worry about king tides too. South Florida, get ready because we're expected to get more rain Thursday. And we do know city of Fort Lauderdale officials do have fire rescue crews and police officers on standby in that area just in case they need to help anyone with all of this uh, potential flooding. Live in Pompano Beach, Mayor Sala Burgos, 7 News Night Team. And from Pompano to Hollywood now. The night team's Joe Rhodes is live with a look at the conditions there. Joe. 
Donkeys and Craig, we actually have the trifecta right now. It is wet, it is windy, and it is pretty cold. The city of Hollywood has been urging drivers to stay away from areas like where we are right now at Rodman Street and 58th Avenue, and it's not hard to see why. This water has been coming up. It is slowly rising throughout the evening. People, of course, just want to know when this will stop, when the waters will recede. Broward County getting bombarded by rain Wednesday night. Take a quick journey with us from Hallandale Beach Boulevard up to Hollywood Boulevard. How do you feel about it? Oh, I, I think it, I think it's terrible. It's Hi, how do you feel about it? Not great. Uh, not great, right? We're working in it. What are you doing out in it? Please, hopefully my flight don't get delayed for tomorrow night. That's what I hope it does not, because I'm trying to go on vacation. The water coming down in droves as people here tried to get some shopping done. A short drive down some of the usual flood-prone roads, like Tyler Street at North 12th Avenue, found some standing water, but not as bad as downpours in the past. It was a different situation at Johnson Street and North Park Road. Here, water was rising rapidly. It's driver beware, warning signs up in this area, letting people know their car may not make it through if the water keeps rising any higher. It has been pretty rough. It's nothing like it was the last time when we had those 26 inches. Of course, the saying always stands true. Turn around, don't drown, don't try to forge your way through any of these flooded roadways. And of course, while this rain continues to come down, the water is on the streets. If you can just stay home, keep things easy, always the safest bet to do so. We're live in Hollywood. Joe Rotes, 7 News, 19. All this nasty weather is impacting flights. No cancellations tonight at Miami International, but 58 arrivals and departures have been delayed. 19 cameras were at MIA a short time ago. Not a great night to catch a flight. The blustery conditions there had the flags and palm trees swaying. And up at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International, no cancellations either, but 74 arrivals and departures have been delayed so far. So you'll want to keep it here on the Storm Station for the latest in all this weather moving through updates throughout the night here on 7, WSVN.com, the 7 News app, and all of our social media platforms.